started all here with Wild 1921 with the first theodolite, the Wild T2. And since then, a lot of development, improvements and new technologies came into the total stations. It started in the 70s with electronics coming into the total stations. In the 90s, the automation started and now the crucial part comes. So a, a total station today is heavily, heavily automated. What we really try as well is to take away, if you want, from our customer the, the boring tasks as well, the, ta the repetitive tasks. We really try to support our customers with the automated, the robotic total stations to make their life easier. The TS20 is basically all about productivity. This, it will be the standard of productivity, that's one aspect. And the other one is basically it's the future of robotics. In the very early stage, it was about scoping of the project to deliberately decide which customer problem to be solved, which technologies are already available in the Hexagon family, which technologies and components need to be custom made from scratch. And therefore really tight collaboration was required. Pushing the limits of a hardware and sensoric piece, it really requires to be on site, collaborate, to push, to, to exchange across disciplines, how to produce, how to maintain, to ensure that we stay at the highest level of availability of the service over the lifetime. With the new EDM sensor module, we deliver at the Laser Class 2 without any calibration interrupts. So it is a seamless data stream from distance information that will be perceived from a TS-16 uh, customer point of view as a big step ahead. The biggest challenge here literally is to make it right and make sure uh, uh, that it performs well and actually gets true outcomes and this was kind of the biggest challenge. How did we overcome this? Well, um, we have many proficient users and early testers. And even in the data collection, we took really a lot of effort in to make sure whatever is going in is going to be right, because it has to be right. So now we really have AI-powered automation. We have several neural networks running on the device to do, for example, classification. Our product engineers went to all kinds of places, for example the UK, to collect uh, data in all kinds of weather conditions, uh, to really train our neural networks to classify then the targets. NPU stands for Neural Processing Unit, which is a chip designed uh, specifically for AI and ML uh, tasks to be done uh, without uh, taking away the, the abilities from a CPU, which is everything that you have already known, the trusted compute and features that are available. But on top of that, you can uh, process vast amount of data in neural networks, uh, very compute efficient at the edge, privacy and security guaranteed, such that workflows become substantially easier. Innovative uh, part or super, I call supreme innovative part is actually the AI driven, the AI powered uh, functionalities. We bring in, for instance, AI Detect. AI Detect is an automatic prism type detection, so the instrument automatically detects the prism type onto which it measures and uh, warns the operator in case of the prism type does not match with the settings in the software. So uh, we really help here the customers uh, uh, to, to, to make no mistakes anymore in the field and uh, th thanks, thanks to AI. Whereas with AI Follow, I think this is going to be very groundbreaking uh, where one of the fundamental concepts has always been the line of sight in surveying. Thanks to the latest technology, we can actually rethink that concept to some extent. So basically for the TS20, we reimagined uh, the automation system. So that means that we really thought ground up about power search in ATR, how we could improve this 
for the next level, the next generation of the big total stations. So we've been able to go out there in like the middle of nowhere and really try to experience this misty rain and capture a lot of images. So it was always like trying to find the places with the worst weather and just to train the new ATR and power search sensors. That has been the issue with the total stations in the past is that we just wait for a signal to come back and if that signal is below a threshold, we just consider it not a prism. And since the atmospheric conditions in a place like Wales with that misty rain was so low that it wouldn't consider it as a prism. So we've been going there and been trying to take a lot of measurements to try to see what it would look like so that we can train a model and then put that model inside the, eight, inside the TS-20 to try to make it so that the total station can recognize what a prism is in all sorts of different scenarios. This will be the first total station that has the AI in it integrated. We invested a lot of time in the data collection as well as uh, for not only for ATR but also for other subsystems such that we can reduce the effect of foreign reflection or the targets that uh, the surveyors are not interested in. You're making fewer mistakes. You can also be more confident in the total station that you know what it is measuring, that it's measuring the correct thing because of the new machine learning algorithms that we have implemented and also the AI tools to make sure that we are constantly tracking the right prism. The other thing as well, a total station needs to work from minus 20 degrees up to plus 50 degrees. So we have all the different kind of very difficult environmental conditions around the world. And the total station needs to work. Another very important aspect was the robustness of the entire solution. With IP66 against water and dust, we reach the highest grade uh, robustness against water and dust but we identified also other external stresses like thermal or mechanical stresses. So we designed and optimized in the digital twin, we simulated it to be as robust as possible. We tested all the single parts to its limits. We brought it together to modules and tested it according to the requirements. With that, we can ensure that the TS20 solution also delivers in harsh environmental conditions. The main challenge for the motorization is to make it robust in all the environment, in all situations. So that means we have wind, we have vibration, we have human interaction and each customer is different, each setup is different. And to bring this robustness from our laboratory, from our R&D, into the field. This is maybe the biggest challenge. We can also adapt the divergences from the software, which makes it even more uh, robust for our system or our use cases. We can cover higher distances. We have uh, much more strength in the signal. That helps uh, reducing the effect of the environment, which makes it robust for different challenging environmental conditions. The TS20 project was for sure an exciting opportunity for us to take Captivate to the next level. With Captivate we always say that we focus on um, trying to improve the little things, try to get those marginal gains. If we improve everything a little bit, your experience in general improves a lot. And, and we did a lot of that with the TS20, supporting some of those new features like AI follow or the prism detection um, and just the new instrument with its new hardware. Doing all of that in a way where it felt integrated into Captivate. So a Captivate user just instantly knows how to use these features without training because they're just integrated into their normal workflows. That's a nice opportunity for us from a software side to work on things like that. And yeah, for sure we're proud of the result. How you do surveying, I think the biggest innovation uh, that has evolved over the recent years, um, also with the whole internet and connectivity uh, area, is for sure the data handling, uh, so that you work with more complex data, you want to have the data online, you want to have the data um, everywhere at your fingertips where you just want to work. The, one of the big differences is that the, the TS20 also comes with a very sophisticated communication module, so that means we have connect 
connectivity everywhere via cellular or via Wi-Fi as, as your preferred choice. But we have also an IoT device, an IoT SIM card in there. So that brings us in the, in the good position that we can actually do a direct connection between the work in the field on the total station into the cloud for the data service like GeoCloud Drive, what we have released a couple of years ago, and also very new now with the TS20, uh, GeoCloud Protect, which is a tracking and self deterrence service uh, for your total station to make sure you always know where it is and you can uh, operate this remotely also from, from the internet via web browser, but also from a mobile app, which is also then linked to the cloud service. But the key point is here, the connectivity of the TS20 into this whole um, yeah, world of the, of the cloud data there. To put all these technologies in one product, in one duty, I required high integration of antennas, of modules, to think about of the architecture, of use cases, and of the usage uh, from the perspective of the, of, the, of the customers. The end user will experience a seamless data connection to the controller without any external radio handle. They will experience the seamless data connection to the cloud, staying up to date with the latest and greatest uh, uh, job information from the database in the cloud. The, our customers will be very thankful and surprised. Surprised to get not only the brilliant state of the, the total station, uh, but to get on also the great possibilities of the connectivity, the high quality and performance wireless technologies. This is where you will see the most the difference between the current solution with the TS16 and the new solution with the TS20, where you really can in field uh, yeah, exchange data and information with somebody who sits in the office. And with that, of course, you are much faster than you have to end the day, bring the data to the office and go to the same site again the next day. So you could do that now with the TS20 on the fly in the field. Oh, this is the special thing huh? that we, that what we know from other devices, that now it comes into a total station. For me, be ready means to highlight the expectation that the customer can expect more in the future. But also inside the company that we know this is not the end. We have to be ready to bring new features improve our workflows, improve our devices over time. This new platform of the TS20 gives so many possibilities. We all have to be ready to evolve with this device. To develop a success of a TS16 is uh, not an easy going path because it is really a high benchmark. But we have accepted the challenge. We understood really the, the problem it solves today but we anticipated the, the, the new upcoming trends in the market. And therefore, with the all new TS20, we really address the upcoming trends. We can ensure that all the processes within the TS20 are not at its limits and ready to cover future use cases. I think with the TS20, we have now set again a high mark. We see this more as a baseline and for us it's more a start. Excited for the coming years and uh, possibilities that we now have and uh, what the improvements will come. I know with my hobbies of going to the mountains that it's so important to trust your equipment because if you don't trust your equipment, you're not going to be able to perform at your best. With the TS20 and serving, it's kind of the same thing. If you can't trust your total station to do the things you need it to do, then you're not going to be efficient. You're not going to be as, pro as productive and that is what we are developing and that is what we are driving this total station to do. I'm really to be proud of the part of it. I see the 200 experts only in this project was very hard working for it and each of them made so brilliant work and to see this work, to see this product, fun for me. <laughs> I absolutely love the, the phrase be ready because for me it's what we all need to be as surveyors on construction sites. We need to be ready for the next challenge. We need to be ready for the next opportunity. We need to be ready for the next job, for the next project. I think that the TS20 with its power, its flexibility and its huge range of applications of where you can use it, combined with Captivate's strengths of customizable workflows and task-focused apps, means that if you've got this in your toolbox, you really can be ready for more or less any measurement challenge that hits you. So being ready 
in terms of TS20 really means that we prepared it to stand the test of time. We have a, new, a totally new computing processing platform, a new architecture of processing that we can really improve over time. I mean, you need to be passionate about what you do. And if you are passionate, uh, the result will be great. The first time I saw TS20 assembled and I saw how the screen was lightening up, we could throw some commands to the TS20 and it was, was acting like a total station. Yes, there was goosebumps. I mean, it's a chance that you have usually once in your working life because we do not do this like every year or every five years. So it's really developing a completely new platform with many new things in it. That's the, the thing I'm proud of here. Yeah. I think the survey industry um, is, is so important. I would never uh, drive through a tunnel that hadn't been touched by a surveyor or cross a bridge that hadn't been touched by a surveyor. We need surveyors and if it's an industry I, it's close to my heart, it's an industry that I really love and so being able to help craft a product that improves the lives of those in that industry, it's so exciting for me and I'm certainly proud to have been involved.